good evening and welcome to night prayer. Uh, that was Celtic Seas by James Crisp. Let's just minimise that. And tonight we're going to have um, the Complain from the Northumbria community. I just need to clear the screen of that. Oh, go away. <laughs> oh, okay, so I just need to clear my screen of that and hopefully here we have the Complin for Saturday which is the Patrick one. It's just the Patrick Complin. I'll just read this top bit. It's just dropping off the edge of your screen but Patrick was a Briton and a former slave in Ireland. He became the Apostle to Ireland traveling widely and evangelizing tirelessly and organizing churches and monasteries. He established his Episcopal seat in Armagh, which became the centre of Christianity in the whole of Ireland. Patrick was fearless in the pursuit of his aim, to destroy paganism and to exalt the name of the triune God. So we meet in the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join in the words that are in bolder type. In the name of the King of Life, in the name of the Christ of Love, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the triune of my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my, thought, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. And I thought at this point we could insert a short reflection of the day to look back on the things that we're glad about, maybe the people that we've seen, or perhaps the aspect, an aspect of the weather that's pleased you. What are you thankful for? What are the blessings of today for you? Perhaps you want to pause the video and offer them up to God in your own words. We thank you, loving Father, for all of these blessings that we're thinking of now. In Jesus' name, Amen. And we think about the needs that we've become aware of today. Perhaps you've seen something on the news or you've met someone or heard of someone who's in need. We pray for those situations. Again, pause the video and lift up to God the situations you've seen. Name them aloud. Loving God, there is so much suffering in the world and so many needs. We ask you to be in these situations that we've been aware of today. Come with your peace, with your healing, with your mercy and your grace into the world that you love. In Jesus' name, Amen. We pray for those that are ill in body, mind or spirit, bringing them to God this night. Bring them healing, Lord, wholeness and peace of mind. In Jesus' name, Amen. We pray also for those who are grieving the loss of a loved one, those who've had a loss today where a family member has died, especially close to them this night Lord as they're in a state of shock in Jesus name Amen we commit ourselves our families our friends the people who are going to be working this night into God's care praying especially for those in the emergency services if they are called out those working in nursing homes, prisons and institutions. So 
So along with all of these situations, we commit ourselves into God's care, saying the words here in bold. I'll lift them up a bit. There you go. These words here. We say them together. I am placing my soul and my body under thy guarding this night, O Christ. May thy cross this night be shielding me. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Redeem me, O Lord, the God of truth. The God of life with guarding hold you. The loving Christ with guarding fold you. The Holy Spirit guarding mould you. Each night of life to aid enfold you. Each day and night of life uphold you. And we say these words in bold type together. May God shield me. May God fill me. May God keep me. May God watch me. May God bring me this night to the nearness of his love. The peace of the Father of joy, the peace of the Christ of hope, the peace of the Spirit of grace. And we say together, the peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That was just a short night prayer tonight. I hope that it's been sufficient for you. And we also commit tomorrow into God's hands, the worship of the church, be that gathered in the building or dispersed at home and watching on the internet. We pray that God will be in all of that. And so I bid you good night, God bless and sweet dreams.